Oh God, please don't let this happen to me. I know Chief Patrick has a hand in this. Only God knows what has happened to my granddaughter. If these people were real kidnappers, they would have called for a ransom. At least something for her release. God, please. Enter. Greetings, my queen. I announce the arrival of the council. What? It's not your time for them to come. Why are they here? I can't tell, my queen. If I may speak, my queen. I think someone is selling us out. They might have heard about the kidnap of the princess. I sense that Chief Patrick's hand is in all of this. He's doing all of this just so that he can get the throne and give it to Williams. But my God will fail him. I know. I'll be with them shortly. Yes, my queen. The agenda of today's gathering bears the presentation of the heiress to the throne of Opium Kingdom. My honorable members in council, today was agreed for the presentation of the heiress to the throne. But I urge you to be a little bit patient with me. Patience? Again? Your Highness. Patience? Again? But we have waited for long, a very long time. I know, Chief But, you know, in matters like this, one needs to handle certain things with a lot of carefulness. I'll be back with you shortly. There is a real
Greetings, Your Highness. Thank you very much. Please sit. <sighs> My honorable members in council, when I said patience, I was actually talking about hope. Yes, hope. Here she is, the long-awaited heiress to the throne of Obimo Kingdom. Princess Muna, my granddaughter. Come, Angel. Really? Is it? This is, this is really good. Welcome home. She's young and intelligent. Mm. Mm. No, 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 no. She doesn't look like a princess. Huh? Good talk, Chief Ekelo. But I don't think our queen should be deceitful. Not after all these years. You can ask for a test, or rather, you may ask for a test to be run on her to clear all doubts that if there's still any. Please forgive Chief Ekele, my queen. Her nose has said it all. Looking at her, one will see our little prince. I think we have found out Paris. What stops us from giving her the crown? Chief Patrick. Well, fine, fine. Let's get on with it. John. Yes, my queen. Take the princess in and get her all freshened up. Mm? Yes, my queen. Please come with me. myself just like that. I was told this by a reliable source. How this happened, I cannot tell. You see, I said it. I had the feeling that something is not right. I told you about this thing. Just, just, just can you imagine the insult? If she did not appear, by now you would have been presented to them. Just to go home. Relax. The war is about to start. I'll beat you. Okay? You will be the king of Obima kingdom. Mark my words.
Sorry, Mr. Peter. Do you mean all those things here belong to me? Yes. The Queen paid for and furnished it for you. Oh, of course. My. my God will bless the Queen. I'm very grateful. Please tell her I am so happy. I'm praying for her. God will bless her more for me. Hi. God. It's okay. It's okay. okay. I understand how you feel. It's okay. <clears throat> Mr. Peter, um, I will have to go back to my former house to get my things there. No, you don't need to. Whatever you want, tell me. I'll get it for you. If you go into the bedroom, look into the wardrobe, you will see new clothes. Everything you want is in this house. God! I don't think you need to go back to that suburb. Hey! God will bless her for me. I have to go. God. The tears of the poor never dry. The poor always dry. What time are you taking? Look at this. You have to Just come back. She has to move good. Don't you see how unkept she looks? I announce the arrival of Queen Rebecca, the ruler of Obimo Kingdom, and Princess Mona, the heiress to the throne of Obimo Kingdom. Greetings, Your, Your Highness. Greetings, Princess Mona. My members, honorable members in council, your heiress. It is by the grace of God that she is here with us today. Yesterday, she was abducted. What? Yes. But by the mercy of God, she's here with us today. Hmm. It's a pity. But thanks. Speak to the gods. I think we should not waste any more time in accepting her as our princess and heiress to the kingdom of Obimo. Chief Patrick, sir. Get me the royal beard. I, Chief Patrick, the Prime Minister of Obimo Kingdom, is before you. And by the power vested in me, I crown you, Princess Mona, the heiress to the throne of Obimo Land. My friend, talk to me. You see, with this face you have right here, I know all is not well. Just talk to me as your friend and tell me how it happened. My uncle has made me feel myself. I just 
just wanted to make jest of myself. I didn't know that that girl was still alive. But your comrades believe that this girl doesn't exist. That's the point. You see, that's my problem. I have been fooling myself. You see why I've been so cold about this thing? Now you see. Next thing for me to do right now is just to take off all these clothes and burn them. Yes, I do not want to have anything about this drone. I won't do anything about it again. Ah! This is bad. And I've been telling people, I've been broadcasting it everywhere, telling people that you're so be the king of Obimo Kingdom. I was even anticipating that very soon we'll get into the palace. Look. Ah, no, no. No. No, this is bad. Take care of Mike's burial. Everything will be fine. I trusted him. He was the only guy I was ever close to. Grandma, please. I really want to see my friend. I want to see Peggy. My angel, the driver will take you to see her. And, uh, listen, everything will be fine. Hmm? Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry, my princess. Thank God we made it. You're now the crown princess. Hmm? Well, as it is, we'll have to teach you a little bit about, uh, a little bit of the royal etiquette. Hmm? Royal et et Royal etiquette. I mean, that is the way, the royal way, a princess should behave. Hmm? All well and good. Everything will work out right fine. But now, you need to stop crying and eat something. So let's go to let's go to the dining. Hmm? That's my angel. It's okay. She's well, so everything is fine. Hmm? It's okay, my princess. It's okay. William, stop this! Listen, stop listen, this! I don't know what I have problem with you. All right? Either you like it or not, I am born in these clothes. I will. I will not stop. I will not let you do this. Why? I will not let you do that, Williams. Listen, Williams. That you do not succeed in being the, the king of Obimo Kingdom does not mean that you are not the prince of this land. Listen, my man, you are royal. You are royal for God's sake. Okay, now imagine when there is an occasion at the palace, what are you going to wear? I don't care. In fact, I will not attend. Listen, Ken, you are saying all these things because you don't know how I feel. You need to be dead. They embarrassed me. I just went there to disgrace myself just like that. Can you just calm down? Why are you telling me to calm down? There is still there are still chances for you. Calm I down. Don't give you any chance? You need to be there. You need to salt. The 
listen, just let go, just let go. Just let go. Let go. Let go. There is no point. I'm not wearing this anymore. No, no. Don't do this. You just don't just do this. Okay, just calm down. Welcome, Chief. What is going on here? Welcome, Chief. Williams here wants to burn the clothes. He wants to set it ablaze. Why? Search me. Because you're angry over what happened at the palace. Don't I have the right to be angry? Why won't I be angry when the source of information is not correct? And I told you to calm down. That the war has just begun. You are the next king of this kingdom. Okay. It's a promise. Okay. Listen. If that little brat, that little girl that call herself princess, knows what she's about to get into, she wouldn't have come out from wherever she was hiding. Take this clothes and stop acting like a chicken. Come on. Man. Come on, son. Be a man. Calm down, okay? You still have your chance. Whenever you want to see me, you can come around. Okay? <clears throat> we all must be very careful from this moment on. Peter? You will be the driver and security to the princess. You will be with her wherever she goes. Understood? Okay, Your Highness. Joan. Yes, my queen. I want you to send delegates to the family of the young man that was stabbed and make sure that provision is made for the man's burial. Yes, my queen. And also, make sure the girl that was shot receives adequate medical attention. And she was only discharged, my queen. Okay. Joan. My queen. I want you to start teaching the princess, the do's and don'ts in this royal house. You see, there's still some things she does not understand. And that reminds me, we need to be careful about Chief Patrick. He went to their house. What? How did he find them? That is the question. I think someone in this palace is selling us out. And we'll have to fish out the person.
Grandma, I want to go and stay with my mother. No. First, pick up the serviette and wipe your lips. My princess. This is where you belong now. This is your home. You have to try to get used to it. No. I just want to go. I'm hungry. I'm not used to this kind of food. I prefer the one my mother prepares. Let me just go and see her. My princess. I do understand this is all so different for you. I know you're used to the kind of food your mother prepares, but this is a lot better and a lot more healthier for you. No, let me just go and stay with her. I just want to go because I might fall sick here. I might even die of hunger. My queen, may I speak? Why not allow her to go today? She'll be back by tomorrow. Please. Okay. Get her a maid, a guard, and a driver. Yes, my queen. Thanks, Grandma. You're welcome. Come here. My God. <laughs> Thanks, Grandma. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I'm so glad you like everything. Your clothes and the phone. Wow. <laughs> you deserve the very best, my dear Angel. You deserve the very best. That's an heiress. Hmm? Thanks, Grandma. <laughs> but then, one more thing. We'll need to teach you how to talk and how to walk. You can't be talking like every other person. Mm. Okay. When do we start? Um, now. Jean is not around, but um, we can comment anytime from now. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Grandma, let's take a picture of my new phone. Hmm? Now? Yes. Okay. <laughs> What do I do? I say princess. Yeah, and I say grandma. <laughs> princess. That's okay. <laughs> so young man, what do you want here? I came to look for a job. You came to look for a job? Yes. So what kind of job are you applying for? No, anything. Anything at all I am willing to do. All I need is a job. Anything at all. Anything. Anything. Uh, in that case, uh, booking for interview. Just booking. Okay. I'll do that. Thank you. Come with me. Thank you. Thank you.
No, 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 princess. Greetings, my queen. Yes, Peter. A young man came looking for a job and I booked him for interview. Well, um, Jean is not here yet. Have you interviewed him? Not yet, my queen. He's ready for any post. Should I go ahead and interview him? Oh, yes. I do go ahead and do that. is daring me. How did she do that? You know I'm always by your side. Huh? Uh, but what exactly did she do? Don't tell me you are not happy that the princess was found. I was not happy. I'm yet not happy. But don't worry. Very soon, I will start to execute my plans one by one. Hmm. That little girl, that little brat, cannot come between me and that throne. That throne belongs to Prince Williams. Well, how do you want to do this? Well, you know it's already late. That young girl is interested. But uh, how do you propose to do this? Very soon, I will have my own person in that palace. Good. Then I will start to execute my plans one by one. That little girl, that small brat, cannot come between me and that throne. The throne belongs to Prince Williams. Okay. Yes. Now, in any way you want me to assist you, please let me know. But I still think that whatever you want to do now may still not work. <laughs> then that means you don't know me. You don't know me very well. My Chief Patrick. I have to go here now. Have a look. Okay, let me run along. No, 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 I have to teach you how to use the cutleries. First, we we'll start. Take your hands off the table. Take your hands off the table. Yeah. Now, drop the spoon. Now, I'm going to teach you how to use the cutleries. And when you sit at the dining, you take your hands off the table. Right? Now, you hold. You know what? I cannot learn that one. Yes, you can. You'll have to learn it. You must learn how to use the cutleries. Now, you'll take the fork in your left hand and the knife in your right hand. No. The fork in your left hand. Your left hand, yes. Yeah, hold it down like that. Down like that. Mm -hmm. Take easy, 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 easy. 
Mother, easy. Easy. Take it easy. Are you laughing at my granddaughter? No, my queen. I, I was not laughing. Grandma, just leave her. Can you do it? If she can, let her just teach me. No. I want to do it myself. Soon you'll be crowned the queen of this land. And you're ruling it. You have to learn how to use the cutleries. You must be able to represent the community properly and well. But well, I was crowned yesterday. Oh yes, you were crowned. But as a princess, not the queen. You'll soon be crowned the queen of the land. And you would begin to host international guests. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go on. Like a queen. Yes. <laughs> Mona, take it easy. I know you can do this. And look at look at me. Look at me. That's the fork there. Aha. Uh -huh. That's it. That's it now. Stop here. My princess, any problem? Listen, from now on, if you must pick me, you can wait here and I will come out. Okay? My princess, are you sure you're safe? Yes. I don't just want anyone to know that I'm a princess. Okay? Then if I close, I'll call you. It's okay, my princess. Take care. All right. This is my grandma. I will. Make sure you take good care of yourself. Okay, sure. All right. Greetings, ma. Yes, this is the Oh, are you the one meant to start work at the palace today? Yes, sir. My name is Ken. It's okay. I have your details already. God, take him around. Um, Ken, right? Yes. I hope you've been acquainted with the rules and regulations of the palace. Yes, um, the other man told me everything. Okay, yes. that's fine. Um, take him to the guard's quarters. The job starts now. Okay, um, okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. I mm -hmm. promise to carry out my job, to do my duties very well. We'll see about that. Thank you. Look at the kind of you and I enjoy. <laughs> My daughter Peggy, God is good. I am grateful to God Almighty for everything and especially for saving your life. Peggy, I knew a day like this would come, but I never knew it would be this good. I can't wait to go to the palace. To see my friends, so that I would thank the queen for helping me. If not for her, I would have died. No, no, no. You will not die in Jesus' name. I reject it for you. Amen. Okay? Peggy. What? You took a bullet for my daughter. My God will bless you. Amen. And I'm sure the queen would love to see you. Thank you. Robbie will rot in jail. Yes. He's claiming that he's not guilty. But I know Mike would go in for it. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> well, I'm so happy that my life today and my friends are alive too. I would like to go and see her. When you are done eating, okay? Um, I'm sure she will be off to school by now. But we'll soon be back. So when you are done eating, you can go. Yeah? Okay. Mm -hmm. Peggy. I am very glad to have you all here. My honorable council members. 
the constitution of the land stipulates that after seven days, the princess must be presented to the community. You have done really well, my queen. I don't think there's more to discuss. We should allow the community. You are right, Chipikini. But let me quickly remind this council that the princess is incomplete. Chief Fukalo, yes. are you trying to tell this council that the princess is defunct? No. But we all know that after 19 days of our presentation to the community, in which she will perform all traditional rites, we will all crown her. But the constitution forbids any prince or princess to be crowned without a wife. Or a husband. I see. So what you are saying is that um, she should not be crowned. I have not said that. The constitution did. She must have a husband before her full coronation as the queen. Well, not to worry, it will be taken care of. Um, why not we leave? Are you waiting for anyone, Chief? Yes. Uh, let me see how the Queen will jump the fence now. <laughs> Chief Patrick. to where her food is served. Yeah. Don't fail me when you have the opportunity to garnish her food with this. Yeah. <laughs> Sir. I hope this is not meant to kill her. Do what I told you. Don't you let me down. I have the power to put your life in jail for a long time. Go now. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Wonderful. Luna? Hmm? This is really 
Kinali. Mm-hmm. I am the princess in this beautiful house. Isn't that glorious? Very well. My dear, you are both blessed. Yeah, I know. Just come. Let me go and change into my royal regalia and I can show you my chambers and every other place. In Greetings to the morning star. The princess of the great Obima kingdom. Oh, God has blessed the day I set my eyes on you. Forgive the interruption, my princess. My name is Ken, the newly employed guard. Oh, okay. Thanks for your praises, Ken. Come Long on. live the princess. The jewel, the only eye of the great Obima Palace. Your kingdom will never end. Yes, you will prosper, my princess. Thank you once again, Mr. Ken. Come on, Peggy, let's go. Let me warn you. Go back to your duty post at once. Yes, sir. serious. It will be difficult for us to get her a husband within 22 days. Greetings, my queen. The princess is back from school. Good. I'd like to speak to her at once. She'll be with you in a moment. Princess Mona, you mean this is your bedroom? <laughs> Thank you. Isn't it sweet? Look, if you go to the wardrobe, you will see my fine clothes and shoes grandma bought for me. Can't check it. Wow, what a word. And you'll be suffering all this while you get to the wardrobe. Just can't check them first now. Too much. 
As in, I'm so, so lucky to be employed for her. Not by my power. Now, girl's doing. <laughs> yes. Yes, babe. That guy has romantic vibes. As in, did you see how he was praising the princess? Oh my god, he's so cute. He was just all over her. My dear, you see why it's good to be a princess? <laughs> oh my god. Yes, so, please, you can't get the princess for you. She will soon be true with her friend. Oh, yes. Did you see Bella? No, I thought she's in the kitchen. No, where could she be? I have forgotten that we need to prepare the queen's Good day, Grandma. Good day, darling. Good day, dear. How are you doing? I'm fine. <laughs> My angels. How was school today? Splendid. <laughs> Imagine my first day as another person, as a very powerful individual. Oh. <laughs> I can feel that right here. <laughs> mm. Well, that is why I sent for you. I want us to talk. Okay. What is it? John, thank you, Humili. My brain. My dear angel. See, there's a traditional constitution which states that the princess or the prince must be presented to the council and seven days after they'll be presented to the community and thereafter after 15 days the princess or the prince will be crowned as king or queen of the kingdom. I don't see a problem with that. You've presented me to the council already. Yes, you're, you're very right. Yes, you're right. But mm, there's a snag there. You're not married. If you're not married, you can't get the show. You need to be married. You must be married. Grandma! Marriage? You know I'm still too young to talk about that. I know. I know. But that's what the traditional constitution states. If you're not able to get married, then you'll be discarded. You'll lose the crown and another will be crowned the king of the kingdom and I guess that will be it for us we're doomed what do we do? what? and I don't have any man in my life the only one I had the only friend that I cared and loved he betrayed me, Robin. I don't even want to have anything to do with him again. I do agree with you on that. He's off. I can't even imagine him being my son-in-law. But then, what else can we do? What do you think we can do? An angel. So, Uncle, tell me, what is your plan this time? What are you up to? This time, it's for real. 
Whatever plan I have now will work. Your friend Ken is in there for me. He's our eye in the palace. Yeah, Ken told me that you asked him to go to the palace to mm. get a job. Yes. Now he has been employed, so what's the next thing? I am asking you so that I know how to play my own game. I am not happy with you the last time. You messed me up. It's okay. That was then. I had to have someone in there to tell me what goes on in the palace. Eh? Son, you have to start looking for a wife. Wife? Yes. Yes, come in. Hey, Bella, come here. <laughs> Good evening, Chief. Good evening. Good evening, Prince Williams. Yo. What a good time for you to come. Please sit down. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I, I came to see you. Yes, you did well. That's exactly what I was here talking with my son. Let's plan this together. Don't tell me what you're feeling or what you're not feeling. What we are about to do is for your own good. Uh, it's been said that the princess will be presenting her husband to us. You know she will get married. Uh, but information reaching me is that the guy she loves is in prison. Yes. After her kidnapping saga, mm -hmm. the guy was arrested and she felt betrayed. For now, the guy is no longer in the picture. She doesn't have anyone. Oh. Are you serious? <laughs> so what you are trying to say is she will be removed. She will no longer be the queen. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. Now you see why I told you to start preparing. Yeah. Ken is in there to give me lead. Alright? If they decide to choose any guy, I'll make sure he doesn't live to marry the princess. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, Uncle, now I know your plans. So I'll know how to venture into it. Yes. I know one thing for sure that um, it will be easy for me to get a wife. Absolutely. <laughs> and now that Bella is here, you, both of you can start to get to know each other so that she can become your wife as soon as possible. <laughs> Thank you, Chief. You're welcome, dear. Eh, hey, Mama, do not eat with fork and knife. Hmm. That's me. That's what I've been learning since, so imagine me eating with fork and knife. Please, I can't eat with that. You better drop it and use your spoon. Hmm. Maris and Akese. Why are you both standing like that? Come on, we are friends now. You can join me. Do you know I don't like it when you stand like that? Thank you, my princess. You are just a good friend. I've not seen your side before. Thank you, my princess. Hmm, Peggy. My angel. Peggy is here. Oh, Peggy. How are you doing? I'm glad to see that you're doing very doing well. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down. I don't know you're eating already. Mama, come and join us. Fine. So, Peggy, how are you doing now? You are feeling well now. Yes, my queen. I came to thank you for all you done for me. If not for you, I would have been dead by now. It's okay. Sorry. It's okay. We thank God for everything. We thank mm. God. Mm. And you too. The next time I see you seated while the princess is eating, you will be fired. 
Let me make myself clear. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Sir. Enjoy your meal. to sleep with this call you've been making. And besides, when did you start making such romantic calls? Look at who is talking. Because I'm lying down here with you guys, that's why you have the mouth to talk to me anyhow. Eh? When did you join the palace meeting? When did you come into this palace that you're talking to me anyhow? Huh? Well, how's the name of all this? Do you want me to report it to the queen? Does it look as if I'm scared of the queen? Really? Yes! So let me tell you what, very soon you'll be bowing down to me, throwing flowers for me to work on. Huh? For you? Yes, because I'm wearing the same uniform with you guys. You think you can talk to me anyhow? Don't worry. Baby, please call me back, okay? <laughs> Where is Ken the new guy? Oh. Oh. Ken, I, I don't know, but I think he should be in this room. Doing what? He was the one I asked to wash this car, that the Queen will be using it this morning. I didn't see him, that's why I had to wash the car myself. But I, I think he should be in this room. Okay, and EK um, are dressing up, so I need to wash the car before they come out. It's okay. Go back to work. Okay. He has to be doing something. I will not tolerate this laziness in this palace. My Queen, you have a meeting with the Prime Minister of Ubo Kingdom by 2.30 p.m. Also, you have a road inspection to the stream by 3 p.m. Oh. All these in one day. That's fine. But first, we'll go to the Princess's school. We need to get her into a new school. 
And I think that if we get her into a mixed school, that could increase her chances of making friends and if possibly get a husband. My queen, I doubt that a change of school will get the princess a husband within the time frame we have. So what do you think I should do then? I mean, already she's complained about not liking the school, so she still needs a change of school. Let's start from there first. Yes, my queen. <laughs> hmm? Come in. Yes, good morning, my beautiful princess and her lovely friend. Thank you, Ken. Thanks, Ken. You brought our uniform. Oh, oh yes, um, I, I, I earned it for the both of you. Mm. Oh, thank you so much. Um, Ken, yes. do you have any particular duty assigned to you in this palace? No, my sweet princess, I'm walking all over. Mm. Ah, well, my princess, I have to leave the book of you now to, to prepare for school. It's already time. Mm. But your room is splendor. All right, then. Thanks. Take my leave. What? You have to make him a personal guard, at least for me to be. Peggy, mm -hmm. you're so spoiled. What is happening? God, I'm sure I kept the uniform here. Who, who took it now? I can't wanna be this one now. Alice. Yes? Did you see Ken in your guard? No, actually, I'm looking for the princess's uniform. I kept it here, only for me to go inside and get her socks. I can't find the uniform now. I don't even know who has it. I'm looking for that guy. I asked him to wash one of the queen's cars. He didn't do it. I searched for him in his room. He's not there. Where could he be? Me, I don't know. I'm also looking for the princess's uniform. Ah. Here you go. Go check if one of the maids has taken it to her. Maids, okay. But you see, she's not really my kind of girl. But I'm just playing along because of the throne. It's okay. Very soon, things will start turning around for you. I pray. I will see your friend Ken today to see to know how far he has gone with his plans. Okay. I hope this will work out. I don't want this to fail this time. I am praying seriously for this. Williams, calm down. The throne is ours. Eh? If the queen and the princess escapes this plan this time, then I'll know she's a witch. Get out, my boy. Okay. I believe you.
I'm so delighted to have you in my office, Mona. Point of correction, Princess Mona. Oh, so sorry, Princess Mona. You're welcome, my queen. Thank you very much. You see, my granddaughter, the heiress to Obimo Kingdom, has told me quite a lot about your school. And um, I'm here to make a change of school for her. Please, my queen, don't do this. Please. We never knew she is a princess. Please, princess, forgive us, please. I'm sorry. I've been taking rubbish from students in this school. Even when they get in my way, you blame me for it. Grandma, I don't think a princess can stay here. My princess, I am sorry. Please, I know you're a good girl. You don't have a bad heart. See, I promise from now on, I will make it up to you. You being in this school alone is a plus for us now. Please, forgive us, please. Hmm? When people know that you're here, it takes the school to greater heights. My princess, please. Grandma, it's okay. Let me just stay here, since I'm my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Madam Principal. My queen. I will no longer tolerate any hostility towards my granddaughter, Princess Muna, the heiress. Toby Mo Kingdom, from you, your students, or any other person. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes, my queen. You will not even hear anything again. I promise you. And from now on, you know she's a princess, and she should be treated as such. Yes, my queen. I promise. Thank you, my princess. Princess. I'm going somewhere. Oh, my princess, I'm not a driver. I understand. But I just want you to take me there. I will enjoy it more if you do. Okay, my princess. Honestly, I'm speechless. I don't even know what to do. Wait, what's your grandma saying about this whole Nothing. thing? Nothing. What can she say? She doesn't even know what to do. This is, it's, it's very, very difficult. If I'm a man, I can easily walk out and pick a wife for myself. But now I'm a young girl. Where do I start from? <sighs> don't worry, it's okay, huh? We definitely figure a way out of this. I think the queen can use her power to abolish the tradition. Yes, it's possible. Listen, if we don't do something fast, a lot of things will go wrong. You have 17 days left. Two days to your presentation to the community and 50 days to your coronation. Calm down, calm down, calm down. But let me ask, is that why you left the palace without your maids? The queen might be angry if she finds out. Don't do that again. I don't need them. My dad is enough for me. Besides, I need solution and not flour. My baby, calm down. Oh, oh, beware. Now, you. you have to start going. 
happened to me. Okay, these are my friends and relatives that are looking for a wife. No, they are all too old for her. She's a young girl. My queen, we don't have time. We have barely 17 days. The princess might lose out on this. Never. I don't know what to do. I know we're in a critical period. But I know I have to do something. Jan. My queen. What do we do? I mean, it seems like Chief Patrick has bought over all the elders. My queen, why don't we present this man to the princess? She might like any one of them. No. They're too old. She's a young girl. She needs a young man. So what do we do, my queen? What? Why? Do you have a problem? No problem. I think I found myself a better job. Okay. That's fine. But at least you would have given us some time to get your replacement. I don't even have time for myself. Please help me talk to the queen about it. with her. A resignation. Anyway, I wish her luck. What could possibly make her leave? I don't know my queen. I guess she she wasn't happy. Where's my granddaughter? Where is my granddaughter? My queen, she's not in the palace. She went out only when the guard came. What? Are you both telling me that she left this palace all by herself? With yes. just the guard? Yes, my queen. That was her command. She didn't want us to go with her. How could she do a thing like that? Did she go with Peggy? No, only with the guard. I think they were going to see her mother. Alert me once she's back. Very well. Williams, both of you need to start making arrangements. Okay? I told you they will fail this time. Yes, they have failed. You have succeeded, Chief. There is no way they will get another man to marry her before the deadline. No way. That's impossible. No, I am so happy. This is a massive I cannot be to have this thing on my head. I told you. I told you. Ken will succeed in his own plans. He's already succeeding. He's not very close to the princess. Yes. <laughs> I trust him. I trust that boy. I know why I gave him that job. Now the queen will start to see that her stubbornness will come to nothing. Williams, 
There is your wife. You two need to start getting along and prepare for the throne. Um, Bella. Sir. You can stay the night. Thank you, sir. <laughs> stay the night. I mean, you can pass the night. Yes. <laughs> I'm so happy. Everything eventually is working out for my good. Yeah. But you see, I am not surprised because I knew it would work out. You know, my uncle is somebody that when he sets out to do something, he must always achieve it. I hate that queen. She's selfish. She's so full of herself. I agree with you. But you see, do not worry about the queen. Very soon, she will step down. We will take over the chambers. Trust me. I trust you. That's it. Baby. Drive faster. So that we'll go home. <laughs> Why are you so much in a hurry? If we get home now, what will happen? We will just pray. Yeah, pray to God to help us get to the floor faster. We just pray. Yes. <laughs> Let's go and pray. Okay. <laughs> Bad guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. My princess, whatever it is that troubles you, you sure do know it has an expiry date. I don't want you to cry. I want you to cheer up. Please. Ken. I don't know what to do. I'm confused. If I lose out, it will break my grandmother. What could that be? No. My princess, I know I am a nobody. I know I'm just an ordinary guard in the palace. Advice can go a long way to help you. You deserve everything good in life. You don't deserve to cry. Not tears. Okay. I understand. It's just that. I cannot share it with you. Not because you're a palace guard, but for security's sake. I hope you understand. Yeah. Listen, Ken. Take me to a pub. I want to drink. A pub? I get it, but I thought you said we're going to your friend's your friend's place, Peggy. Why a pub? Just do as I've said. Take me there. I want to ease the troubles in my heart. Just, just drive. Okay, okay. okay. You sure you don't want me to sing for you? Go on. Yes, my princess. 
Let's go get you again. You're no longer a guy. But my friend. So tell me. Tell me my answer. Uh, okay, my princess. I must tell you. This is not the right thing for you. Look, don't you think people might recognize you? Okay. Tell me. What's the essence of becoming the crown princess? Without a man by your side. Okay. Mm. <coughs> I am Ken from Umakama Village. I'm an orphan. I came back to the village after I lost my parents in a costly motor accident in Lagos State. That is where I was born and brought up. She's drunk. Yes, um, I tried to stop her, but you know, please. The queen must not hear about this. Please. There is no point in begging me. She knows already. How could you have allowed her to get drunk? I tried. I tried everything possible. She wouldn't listen. What would I have done? You didn't try enough. What's wrong? What happened to my granddaughter? Huh? What happened to her? My queen, I'm sorry. Okay, what happened? My queen, I'm sorry. My queen, I tried to stop her, but she wouldn't listen. My queen, she took a, a whole bottle of red wine alone. My God. Oh, why would Princess do such a thing to herself? But why did you not call me? I mean, I don't have your number. Yes, she has, but she, she, she didn't allow me to, to call you. Oh. All right, just, just leave. Leave, go, 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 go. Mavis, you stay with her, take care of her. 
alert me once she's awake, right? Okay, my friend. Oh. It's been like this since then. Yes, my queen. She has been sleeping soundly. Can't say that she needed to turn for her to sleep. My queen, as you can see, there is nothing to worry about. She'll be fine in the morning. Well, I'll then have to stay with her then. Why would the princess do such a thing to herself? Why would she put herself through this mess? Someone that is about to be presented to the community next tomorrow. Oh. Well, I'll just have to stay here till morning. My queen, it doesn't mean you will sleep in her room. She might only wake up in the morning. My queen, Maris are born to bring food for us to see if she can eat. Well, just to do just that, do just that. Hmm? Okay. Um, I'll come and see her in the morning. Okay. Right? Okay. She's still having hangovers. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, Mavis and uh, our case. I think you, you have to go get her a, a bottle of cold water. Yeah. Or get her a bottle of wine. Yeah, she'll be fine. Wine? Yes. The one she took, she has not recovered from it. Now you want to give her another one. Please count me out. But that is how to cure hangovers fast. Yes, she will be fine. Okay. Yes, please. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, hey, you can go with her. No problem. Good morning, my future king. Can you imagine what I saw on Facebook? This what? Here. Ken, kissing the princess at the bar. Are you sure this is true? Why, why, why would he do a thing like this? This is confusing. Oh, is it possible that Ken has fallen in love with the princess? No. He dare not do that. But on the other hand, it is to our own advantage. Why? How? For a princess to kiss a man in a public place is a big minus for her to attend the throne of Obimo Kingdom. Yes, she is going to be disqualified from sitting on that throne. Based on that. So, what do we do now? <laughs> what else do we do? We have to wait for time. The ball is in our court. <laughs> time, time, my son. <laughs> <sighs> my queen, I, 
I found it difficult to show you this. Now I have to. What is it? What? Yes, a princess. What's this? How did you come about this? I saw it on Facebook, my queen. Face. What do we do? What can we do? This is not fair, yeah? How, how can I do it? For what? Yeah? So if this we... is what you came to this palace to do? You? Yeah. Me? Am I mad? Yeah? Even you can't even understand with me. I didn't do it. I did not. Mark! Yes, boss. Take him out of this palace at once! Yeah, wait, he's... Wait, please. Please, I beg you. Yeah? I did not do it. I, I, I'm telling you hey, the truth. Hey, Ken! Hey! You know what you have to do now? Undress yourself before you leave this place. Because you are not taking anything that is of royalty out of this palace. Be fast! No. Okay. Hey! Be fast. God hey! Say. Be fast about it. Can't you understand with me? Eh? Understand with me now. Don't let me lose my temper. Fast. Everything. Let me, uh, Everything. Understand with me now. Eh? Whatever you did bring into this palace, you are not taking it out of this palace. Fast. The shoes. We bought him this shoe. Including the stuff. See it, bros. Be fast about this thing. He's not. He's the one removing it now. But I can't do this kind of thing. You know now. I can't do it. Eh? Take off his shoes. It, you see, the thing is, is refusing to come out. <laughs> Take off his shoes. Even the shoes too. Fast. The watch is... Is what? Hmm? Is what? Nothing. Nothing. Sorry, sir. This one. Out. Okay. me when I asked him to take me to the bar. Lies. I hate men like that. Why would he take you there? Because I fall 
lost him. I commanded him. Do you expect him to disobey me? So, you forced him to kiss you? Did you also force him to kiss you? Did you... Do you know what you've done? You've just thrown away the throne. And there's nothing else I can do. That's it. Grandma, no. No, Grandma. Grandma, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. But you know it's my right. Oh, yeah? It's your right, right? It's your right to show to the whole community that their future queen is an irresponsible young girl. At a young age. You have failed yourself. You have failed me. And I'm not happy with you. I'm so, so disappointed. Come on. And what happened? That I was disgraced and stripped out of the palace. Innocently, wrongly accused. Wrongly? I saw it in the news. <laughs> but it's okay. Because she will be disqualified from being the queen. Disqualified? Why? But sir, I didn't kiss her. Yes, she, yes, she was drunk. She wanted to she threw herself at me, but I refused. People were taking pictures and that's that how he came online. Ken, okay. it's okay. You did very well. As long as you did poison her food, she will soon die. Sir, so I, I... I didn't. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm sorry I lied to you. I, I, I could... So she was just a good girl. She was just a good girl. She was so nice to me that I couldn't find myself to do it. It's okay. It's okay. Let me go inside and get something. Then we'll stroll down. I'll show you the land I promised you. Okay? Uh, okay, sir. So she's a very responsible girl. You don't have to kill yourself. No. What have I done? What did I do? And now Ken. Ken is in trouble. I know. But who would believe you? The Queen is angry. I saw this online. I had to come. Just tell me, Peggy. What do you want me to do? And now this will affect me from becoming the queen of this land. Mom, this... It's okay. It's okay. You will explain to the council. They will understand. Hmm? Calm yourself. You need to shower, then eat. job. You do it well. Bye.
Listen, my princess. I trust in you. I believe in you. And I am very proud of you. You are not irresponsible. Even if they don't want you to become the queen anymore, it's fine. No problem. Mommy. I feel for Ken. Ken is innocent. And grandma doesn't want to believe it. Because no caring mom would want to believe that so easily. So calm down. The truth can be hidden for long. If you're destined to be their queen, you will. Mommy, you don't get it. Ken is innocent. I caused all this. Oh. He's innocent. He's a gentleman. He's nice. He's fun to be with. Do you know that he sings for me? Mommy. Please. Ken is in trouble. Please just help me. It's okay. I promise. I am going to speak to the queen about it myself. Okay? Calm down. Don't let it bother you anymore. Thank you, Mom. But, Daddy Palace, I want to go there again. I don't want to be a queen again. No they way. They should just eat it. No way. You are going back tomorrow morning. Remember, you will still be presented to the community. So, you go back. Hmm? I will speak to the queen myself. Smile for me. Smile. Smile for me. Hi, <laughs> <My> baby. <laughs> it's okay. Uncle, where is Ken? I searched everywhere for him. I went to the palace. I, I was told that the queen sent him out. What is going on? Where can he be? I don't know. He might have gone out. I don't think so. There is no way Ken can make such a decision without telling me. We are all he has got. Eh? And I don't think that Ken will kiss the princess. I, there is something that is not right. Something is going on. Then you don't know your friend. He has failed you. He has failed us. And how did you know? Have you heard from him? Huh? Or did he tell you with his mouth? Because I remember you saying something about writing him, writing him off. Uncle, I hope it's not what I am thinking. Eh? Because Ken is my very good friend. Where is Ken? If anything happens to Ken, I will not take it from you. I don't have anything to do with his whereabouts. He is guilty. That is why he has been running away from you. Eh? I need some sleep. Alright, Uncle, um, I've heard what you've said. Uncle, just hold on one minute. So that we won't be in the same track. I will search for him again tomorrow. But Uncle, if I can't find him, I will go against you. Yes. Ken is a very good friend of mine, and I value the friendship more than the truth. How can I catch some sleep after what you just said? Hey, Williams. I'd like to move a motion for the amendment, the constitutional amendment, in the case of my granddaughter, Princess Muna, getting a husband before she can be installed as the queen of the land. My queen, just tell us that she has not found a man than bringing that story of constitutional amendment. Thank you. 
Thank you. Well, I'm sure you all are witness to the fact that it's a lot easier for a man to find a wife than the other way around. And moreover, my granddaughter is still quite young. My queen, do you realize that the princess ought to be installed within 15 days from now and 29 days have passed? How do you think you can affect the constitutional amendment before that time? Now, let me quickly remind us that there is an irresponsible saga that is in the air which concerns our dear princess and her flirtatious movement towards the certain guard. My God. That name Ken. Huh. I don't know if you want to talk about it or if you're ready to talk about it. Where's my grandma? She's in the meeting with the castle of Edels. Who is the matter? I have to see her. I must see her. I know they are deciding my fate. But it's time I let them know what I really feel. My princess, don't you think it would be unwise for you to invade the queen? She needs herself. I don't care. Maris, wait for me in the room. Yes. This is a shameful act. Are we still going on with making an irresponsible girl our future queen? No way. I disagree. I am not irresponsible, sir. Mona, why don't you wait for me in your chambers? No, Grandma. It's time I stand up and speak for myself. I'm a true born of this kingdom. So tell me, what's the crime that a young girl committed to have played with her husband to be? Husband to be? Abomination. Yes. I want to marry Ken. Uh, marry him? I love him. Grandma. I really want to marry Ken. I love him a lot. Angel. Yes, sir. to you all. What is your house? Yes, um, what do you have for us, Mr. Williams? Come in. Your Highness, I'm here to say this course with this man, Mr. Patrick. Are you okay? Fine. Not have you come here to ask me where? I said, I am not going anywhere. Listen, I have searched everywhere for Ken. I can't find him. And remember, you said something about killing him. Have you killed him so that I can settle this right here and now? I am asking you, where is Ken? Is this young man okay? My elders, let me apologize on his behalf. Let's go see him. Uh, uh, my elders, with all due respect, um, Your Highness, I am no longer interested in the throne. I do not want the throne anymore. The throne belongs to Muna, so I am, I am, I am, I am quitting. I, I don't want anything to raise for the throne. I, I don't want anything to do with the throne. All I want right now is for Mr. Patrick to tell me where is Ken. Does he know Ken? This is how you want it, um, Your Highness. Yes, Mr. Patrick here sent Ken to this palace to kill the princess. What? Yes. Yes. To kill me? Yes. But, but Ken did, did, did not do it. Your Highness, Ken, Ken is innocent. Please. I just want us to search for him. He's innocent. Ken is an orphan. If he wanted the princess dead, he would have killed the princess, but he did not do it. Mr. Patrick is a bad man. He, he was the one that even sent people to... to to shoot the princess, but instead they they, they shot at the princess's friend. Unbelievable. Mm. What? Ken! 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 Ken!
come to you. I greet you, my elders. I greet you, my queen. Sorry. I know I am not wanted here. But I must tell you this. Um, Mr. Williams has told us everything. Yes, I did. See, I, I suspected that Mr. Patrick was person behind all this so I, I came and I exposed him to everybody. Listen, I, I don't I don't I don't want the throne anymore. You did well. My queen. The princess is a good woman. She's not irresponsible. was only carried away, but I didn't, I didn't kiss her. I did. I know I am not wanted here. I know I am a nobody. But... Ken! Pure somebody. You are my husband-to-be. I love you, Ken. But... Do you love me? Um, Princess, he loves you. You see, he has said that to me some time ago. Sorry. I, I, I don't hate you. I don't. If not, I would have poisoned you like just as Mr. Patrick asked me to. Okay. Sir. You know, you and my nephew, Williams, have been very good friends for a long time. And yeah. I'm thinking, it's about time we did something meaningful for him. I want us to help him. Okay. Uh, but, uh, how? Um, good. I want you to get a job at the palace and ensure that you land that job. I want you to be very close to the princess because you're going to be my idol. Okay, but... Um, sir, if I get there, should I tell them you sent me? No, no, no. You're on your own when you get there. Until you get the job, then I'll tell you why you're there. So, uh, did he give you any more details? No, he didn't. He only said I should get close to the princess. That's all. I think my uncle has a plan. Yeah, he sure does. And to think of it, they don't know we're friends. They don't. So I already got the job at the palace. I was um, employed as a palace guard. And they asked me to come and start work tomorrow. Good. I knew you would get the job. Because there's a new princess. I want you to do me a favor. Oh, sure. Anything for you, sir, I'll do. Anything. I want you to do everything you can to get close to the princess. Close to the princess. Sir. Can I possibly be close to the princess? She's a woman, I'm a man. And I heard she had a lot of she has a lot of mates in the palace and how, how can that be possible? It's very impossible. She's just a small girl. That is why I want you to get close to her. Tune her. Pacify her. Praise her. Make her to like you. And if she does, the queen herself might make you happy her personal guard, and if that happens, then from there, we can execute our plans. 
And so, what plans are you talking about? I want you to kill the princess. Yeah, Ken. Do you mean you are very close to her now? Okay. Uh, did you put it for her? Yes. So that there will be no suspicion whatsoever. In less than seven days, she will be a dead person. Thank you very much. Yes, your friend will be very happy to hear this. He's getting ready with the girl. Yeah, go ahead. Thank you so much again. Once she's down, we will take over. <laughs> Bye. This is so, so unbelievable. He stabbed me in the bush. Someone helped me to survive. I knew it. I knew he was behind this. I'm sorry. Um, uh, he's, he's, he's bleeding. He's seriously wounded. Get the guards and you, you take him out there. The guards will help. Take him away. You're happy now. You're happy, right? You're doing this because I've been trying to help you. I've been trying to better your life. You're selling me over because of a friend. You betrayed me. My God will judge you. I hate okay. you. Ah, move him! Move! Now hold this. So if no be saying how they find let her find these two guys now. We plan behind me go kidnap this girl. I forgot him, Jeff. Nah, uh, Robin, see, you suppose they praise God now. See, you suppose on Sunday you suppose go church, go give thanksgiving because waiting God do for you. I know the small thing. No, God no deal with me. Can't give me princess as a girlfriend. Nah, God do. You don't get you. princess as a girlfriend before. For we are, we are see girlfriend. But see, guy, you see that ghetto? Mm. Eh? From now on, that mm. ghetto. Oh, mommy, I know they did again. Now, school things, now I don't go back to school. If you don't go back, guy, me, I don't go. Even though, self, I don't go to school, guy, me, I don't go back to business. What's going on, young lady? What's, what's the meaning of this? I, I came to beg you. Please don't do this to my beg you. Listen, listen, I, I listen, beg listen. You. Just shut up and get out of my way. I do not want to have anything to do with you because you are evil and you're criminal. It's not true. Listen, don't touch me. If you touch me, I will give you a dead slap. You know I was doing all that because of you. My friend, will you shut up if I slap your face? You're doing what because of me. Listen, let me clear that down. You're doing that because of your own selfish reasons. You did all that because you thought I was going to marry you. Stay out of my way or I will crush you. But that was the agreement now. You're not supposed to be my king. What's not what you, you people promised me? Please, oh please, I, I beg you, please, please, please don't do it now. Please, please now, please. My king, my king, my king.
from the bloodline of Nkweje dynasty, born of purity and royalty, beneficiary of the Eje clan, and granddaughter of her royal majesty, Queen Rebecca I. All hail her royal highness, Queen Muna, paramount ruler of Obimo kingdom. We shall all proceed outside for the final celebration. <laughs> <laughs>